The Dalmatian dog breed that originated from the historical region of Dalmatia is now a part of Croatia. Hello, welcome to Opentiera. Today, we're embarking on an exploration of Croatia, a nation in Eastern Europe, where history whispers through ancient ruins and modernity harmonizes with tradition. Join us on this journey as we unravel Croatia's compelling narrative from its ancient roots to its dynamic present-day identity. Croatia is situated in southeastern Europe, bordering Central Europe and the Mediterranean. It is surrounded by Slovenia, Hungary, Serbia, Bosnia and Herzegovina and Montenegro. The country has traditionally been split into several geographic regions based on landscape, climate and culture. Major regions include Central Croatia, Slavonia, Istria, Dalmatia and Dubrovnik Neretva. The terrain of Croatia varies greatly. The Pannonian Basin in the east consists of plains and low hills. Towards the west, the landscape rises into the Dinaric Alps along the Adriatic coastline. Over 1,000 islands dot the Adriatic Sea, the largest being Kirk, Kress and Brac. Major rivers in Croatia include the Danube, Drafa and Sava. These rivers and their tributaries drain most of the country. Plitvice Lakes National Park has a chain of 16 terraced lakes formed by travertine dams. The country has over 400 square miles of freshwater lakes. The history of Croatia begins in antiquity. The region was conquered by the Romans in the 1st century BC, who established Roman cities along the Adriatic coast. After the fall of the Roman Empire, Croatia was invaded by various tribes and empires, including the Byzantines, Avars and Slavs. In the Middle Ages, Croatia was ruled by Croatian kings and nobility. There were periods of limited independence but also struggles against the expanding Frankish Empire and later the Ottomans. The country entered into a union with Hungary in 1102, becoming part of the Kingdom of Hungary and later the Habsburg monarchy. As the Ottoman Empire started to crumble, the Croats joined other Slavic peoples in seeking independence. This sparked the Croatian National Revival beginning in the 1830s. Revolutions in 1848 advocated for Croatian autonomy but were initially crushed by imperial forces. Croatia was eventually granted domestic autonomy within the Austro-Hungarian Empire. With the empire's defeat in World War I, Croatia joined the Kingdom of Serbs, Croats and Slovenes in 1918, soon renamed Yugoslavia. Its role in the Yugoslav Kingdom was complex, marked by periods of autonomy and centralized rule. During World War II, Croatia was occupied by the Axis powers and was ruled by the fascist Ustasha regime allied with Nazi Germany. After the war, the country became a republic within communist Yugoslavia under Josip Broz Tito. This set the stage for the Croatian War of Independence in the 1990s, when Croatia declared independence from Yugoslavia. Despite Serb opposition, Croatia prevailed in the four-year conflict, cementing its sovereignty as an independent state. Croatia is home to a diversity of ethnic groups, religions and languages that have shaped its culture and society. The majority ethnic group is the Croats, who account for around 90% of the population. Croats are a South Slavic ethnic group closely related to other groups in the region, such as Serbs and Bosniaks. The dominant religion here is Christianity, with around 86% of Croats identifying as Roman Catholic. Catholicism has played a major role in Croatian culture and history going back centuries. Other religious groups include Orthodox Christians, Muslims and Protestant Christians. The official language is Croatian, spoken by over 95% of the population. It is a South Slavic language that uses the Latin alphabet 
and is mutually intelligible with other regional languages like Serbian. Minorities also speak languages like Italian, Hungarian, Czech and Albanian. Croatia's economic history can be divided into several key periods. As part of socialist Yugoslavia, Croatia had a centrally planned economy focused on heavy industry. After gaining independence in the 1990s, the country began the transition to a market economy through privatization and opening markets. This was an initially turbulent period due to war damage, loss of protected Yugoslav markets and high unemployment. From 2000 to 2008, the economy grew rapidly, averaging over 4% GDP growth. However, the global recession caused a contraction. Since joining the EU in 2013, Croatia has continued integrating into European markets. Tourism is a vital part of the Croatian economy, accounting for over 15% of its $69 billion GDP. Croatia's Adriatic coastline attracts millions of visitors annually. Other major sectors include industry and manufacturing, notably food processing, chemicals, metals, electronics and petroleum products. However, manufacturing's share of GDP has declined. Services like banking, telecommunications and other professional services now employ the most workers. Agriculture plays a relatively small role in GDP, but remains culturally significant, producing cereals, fruits, vegetables, wine and olive oil. Croatia's main exports are transport equipment, machinery, metals, chemicals, food and textiles. The largest trade partners are European countries. Major imports include machinery, fuels, vehicles, chemicals and food, mostly originating from the EU, Russia and China. Foreign direct investment comes predominantly from EU members like Austria, the Netherlands and Italy. Investment has focused on banking, manufacturing and retail sectors. The visual arts hold an esteemed place in Croatian cultural heritage. Stone architecture in medieval churches in seaside Dalmatian towns exemplifies early Croatian artistry. The sculptor Ivan Mestrovic brought Croatian art to the world stage in the 1900s. Contemporary artists across mediums continue to represent Croatia on the global art scene. Music is deeply woven into the fabric of Croatian culture. The spirited strains of the tamburica lute and a cappella clapper singing are icons of traditional Croatian music. Folk songs and energetic circle dance tunes known as Kolo accompany festivals and celebrations. Over the centuries, Croatian opera singers and classical composers like Ivan Zajic gained fame on European stages. The written word holds an esteemed place in Croatian culture. Renaissance writers like Marko Marulic are considered fathers of Croatian literature. The epic poem Osman by Ivan Gundulic is regarded as a masterpiece. The Illyrian movement championed the Croatian language that had been suppressed under foreign rule. Influential novelists like Miroslav Kraleja and poets like Ivo Andrić gained international recognition. In this vibrant country, each region boasts its distinct tastes and recipes. And here are just a few delightful dishes you must try. Let's start in Slavonia, the eastern part of Croatia, renowned for its Slavonian kulin. This spicy sausage is a true delicacy, crafted from high-quality pork, paprika, garlic and various spices. The unique blend of flavors and the traditional smoking process give kulen its irresistible taste, making it a staple in Croatian cuisine. This pastry, filled with a delectable mix of cheese, is a breakfast favorite among locals and visitors alike. The flaky layers of dough and the savory cheese filling create a mouth-watering combination that's simply irresistible. From the Dalmatian coast, we bring you Kru is Pod Peke, a dish that captures the essence of Croatian cooking, 
This rustic preparation involves slow cooking meats or vegetables with aromatic herbs and spices under a bell-like dome, producing succulent and tender flavors that truly tantalize the taste buds. And let's not forget Vishka Pogacha, a specialty from the island of Vis. This savory pie is a gastronomic treasure, typically filled with a mixture of salty ingredients like anchovies, onions, tomatoes and olives. Its golden crispy crust encases a burst of Mediterranean flavors that showcase the island's culinary heritage. If you enjoyed this video on Croatia, you'll love this next one.